And my Make Code Arcade Game of the Week pick is Jewel Raider. So this is another one that you'll find on the Community Games uh, carousel on the Make Code Arcade page. And if you click through to that, you'll go to the Microsoft's Make Code forum post where Stu Low 80 who also goes by Low, L-O-W-E is their last name, Low Quality Games, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and there's a little post about the game, and then you can click on this link, and it'll launch the game inside of the browser. I clicked on Edit so that I can go in and look at the guts of it. So first of all, let's take a look at the game. Jewel Raider is a little platformer, uh, and it's a multi-level platformer. And here it says, Journey through 10 action-packed levels, collecting all jewels in each. Press A to start. I've only made it through two levels so far. Um, so you'll use the move keys and A to jump. And your goal is to pick up these jewels while uh, avoiding the boulders. What happens if you actually manage to complete the level is you'll go through a door. Um, and let's see. You know what? It'll make more sense if I actually do it. So let me, let me try harder. Here we go. Playing again. Come on. We can do this. All right. So I'm when you do complete the level, when, uh, so that door will open when you collect all 10 jewels, and then you'll be able to, here, let me stop this over here, you'll be able to go through that door. And I thought this was a really cool game mechanism, and I wanted to see how that worked. So if you look inside of the Make Code Arcade um, Blocks Editor code, you'll see that, first of all, here are the multiple game levels. So this is what the first level looks like. Uh, is that? No, I think that's the second level. So you'll see here on the second level, this pink square. That's where you can uh, find the door. So that tile map tells the closed door sprite to appear there. And then if we look at this code block that's happening, this loop that's running forever, uh, first it says, is the level complete or not? Which is a condition that gets, uh, that variable gets flipped by uh, collecting all 10 joules. The uh, open variable is, in this case, one, then that tile which is the pink tile, will show a sprite of an open door and it turns the wall on. Normally, it shows the sprite of the closed door and the wall um, parameter is set to off. And the reason this is important is if we scroll down a little bit further, we zoom in here, you'll see there's a collision block here on sprite of kind player hits wall that's the pink index then the level complete value gets set to one and that's what moves us to the next level which is really cool um, and then there's a function that says what to actually do when we when we complete the level and go to the next level um, but it's a really clever mechanism I thought because you can essentially walk over that block all day and nothing happens until the level complete uh, you've collected all the jewels we flip that variable and now the collision between the player and that pink block actually does something um, and so it's actually fun to play. It's very hard. I'm going to practice up. I bet I'll, uh, I'll put it on a Pi Gamer so I can, I can practice on the, uh, on the go. Uh, but that is my game pick of the week, which is Jewel Raider. Very nice job.